Okay, now um, I have my three layers of color blocking done. Now I'm going to start mark making. I'm going to use this um, wooden mark making tool, a skinnier paintbrush, and a couple of crayons. Notice I'm only using black and white on my crayons. I'm probably going to only use black and white paint as well. If you notice, if you remember the examples that I showed you, how they um, the mark making was kind of limited on colors. I think that's um, probably a good idea because it might get too busy. I used a lot of color in mine. You might want to um, limit your palette to just a few colors. Um, if you want to use more, that's fine. And if you want to use more than these kinds of colors for your mark making, it is okay. But it might get too busy if you use too much. So just try to think about that. So the first thing I'm going to do is just start scraping away some of the paint. So I have, since I had another layer underneath here, you're going to be able to see that layer underneath. And I'm just making a mark. I'm just going back and forth and it's kind of making the paint come off. All right, I think I like it just like that. So it's very subtle, but hopefully you can see but there's little marks in there now, okay? So you can do that in other areas if you want. I'm just gonna try to go through this quickly. So um, then with the crayon, I would suggest if you're gonna be using all these things in one setting that you use the dry things like the um, wooden tool and the crayons before you start with paint, okay? So um, remember we talked about um, repeating a mark over and over, that's kind of what I did there. I want you to kind of continue with that, like if you want to make some marks, I was thinking about doing this again. You may do that and see it turns out nicely. It gives kind of a nice um, line. It's not super crisp, which I kind of like. It makes it kind of fun. I think I'm going to do more of a line there. Let's see how white works. We can get some white lines going. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make some pluses. There's no right or wrong. We're kind of experimenting at this point, since you probably haven't done this kind of work before. Okay, and you don't have to get too crazy with like doing it all over your page. Just do some areas and see what you think of it. I think I'm gonna go all with white too. Okay, I like that so far. Let's see, there's a lot of thick paint in here, so I'm thinking maybe that there'd be something more I could do in here. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. I kind of think I'm going to stop there. Okay, so now for the brush, you're going to want to get your um, water or your paint thinned out. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to start with the white. So I have quite a bit of um, water on my brush. That's going to make it flow, especially if you want to make any lines. I think I'm going to just start out with some um, little specked lines like that. And you don't have to fill up the whole space. You just want to do, I guess, some different things here and there on your paper. Or on your canvas, I should say. I'll try some black now. Make sure I wipe my brush off really good so all the weight is gone. So the black is probably what I'm going to need to thin out. We'll see. This black was kind of acting weird on here before, so... I don't know. I'm trying to think of what I want to do. I guess maybe we should have some more of those kinds of marks. I don't know. Don't be afraid. I mean, sometimes you like it, sometimes you don't like it. You're just going to have to try to go for it. And... Okay. 
Yeah, and I don't really love that, but that's okay. Now this black paint is really weird. I'll try to find some better stuff for you guys. And so if there's something that you absolutely are not in love with, you can always wait till it you till it dries and just go over it with another color, do some more color blocking I guess with it. So I'm gonna stop for now and I will show you my finished piece in the end. Thank you.